I hate when you're being a fun and zesty texter and the other person is like a slice of damp bread. I can't carry this conversation alone! I have very little upper body strength! Do you young kids have a term when you are both of those things? I just found my 7th grade math teacher on a gay porn website! Oh. My. Sweet. Jesus! Why were you on a gay porn website? Oh, you know, for oatmeal recipes. WHY THE FRANK DO YOU THINK?! There are two types of anger. One is dry, and the other wet. And basically, wet anger is when your eyes water and your voice shakes. And I hate that because I feel weak when I'm crying while angry. I like dry anger when your face is like stone and your voice is sharp. I guess wet anger shows that you care too much. And dry anger means you're done. This is the best description ever. There's this girl at my school and she's really nice. And I remember sometime last year at one point she would carry a clicker around and click it every time she had a happy thought. Something good happened, she laughed, etc. It was always kind of cute how she would just hear the little click every once in a while throughout class. It always made me smile knowing that it was because something made her feel happy. I don't know. She was training herself to be happy. Oh my God. Does it work? Imagine feeling yourself slipping into depression. You just click a few times and your brain says, wait, this is the sound of happiness. I have to release serotonin. She fantastically Pavloved herself. The absolute madwoman. And writing that one down. I'm home alone with the TV repairman. I'm no fool. There's only two possible outcomes of this scenario. Porn or murder. Uh, apparently there was an unforeseen third outcome where he fixes the TV and then leaves. Okay. So you know how humans make animal noises? Like we can pretend to meow and bark and stuff? Like how freaking weird would it be if animals could do that? Like they didn't know what it meant or how to speak phrases, but they could pick up on stuff we say and make the same noise. Like, you'd just be watching TV with your dog next to you and reach over to pet him and... Bowel movement. Parrots. The thing you're looking for is a parrot. Do you ever have those times at 4 a.m. where you get so motivated and decide to get all your sanity together and then plan out your entire life and future and then the next morning you're just like, Lol, <laughs> what was I thinking? <laughs> I am a hot mess. I figured out. That horror games with grotesque monsters and spooky environments are negative 9,000 scary if you pretend you're Steve Irwin on a mission to document the monster or monsters. Looky here, there's a six-foot grunt from the basement. I'm gonna wrestle it. This is how I get through a lot of scary environments without getting scared. It, it really works. I feel bad for teachers because I distinctly remember my mom bursting into tears once when she was grading papers and she was just mumbling, they're so goddamn stupid, over and over and over. Every time I read this, I laugh harder. Imagine instead of fighting with weapons, we fought with cardboard. Imagine if there was a strict cardboard-only rule for war and everyone on Earth just accepted it without question. So whenever everyone went to war, they would just hit each other with cardboard swords and pretend to shoot each other with a cardboard gun cutout until they all got tucked out and went home. <laughs> I've been laughing at this for about eight years. I posted this five minutes ago. <laughs> I gotta tell you, one bonus of being an adult, trademark, is grossly misusing modern slang on purpose and watching the young interns cry inside. A fine example. The other day, I pointed at a passing shark and, while looking one intern right in the eye, went, Man, is that a bay or what, huh? And the look on his face was something I will treasure for years. Kids, I'm gonna level with you. We do this on purpose. Does that dab for you? I would be an awful parent. My kid would say, I don't want to go to school, I just want to sleep. And I'd probably get in bed with them and say, I feel you. <clears throat> Really? Really? Is that the... Is that the terms you want to use? Hey, Billy, why weren't you at school today? My mom feels me. <laughs> hey, guys. Who's the funniest Disney princess? Rapunzel! Get off the stage! I told this joke to my husband and he immediately said, Divorce! Just once. I want the hero to go, your wife, sister, mother, whatever, would not have wanted this. And the villain to go, Actually, we talked about this a lot. She was really into vigilante justice and eye for an eye stuff. She always said, if something like this happens, avenge me. Your mother never would have wanted this! Well, you never clearly met my mother! Nyeh! Why do people call it fornicate, marry, kill, when they could call it bed, wed, behead? Easy there, Henry. Who's Henry? What the f- Urk! <laughs> Why are they so stupid?